Hello, everybody. Now let's check uh, this Toshiba MQ03 ABB200M. So this is one uh, Toshiba new hard drive, and with the DFL DDP data recovery program, uh, let's check how to set up the head map and image this hard drive or extract the NOS data. Now we set up one new project and disk image. We select the SOT1 as the target drive. Now the program is initializing the target drive. So we can check this is the hard drive uh, ID information, the module number, SN number, and the firmware version. This is capacity 2 TB. Uh, for this hard drive, it was designed with four platters and eight heads, but actually, this drive has only three platters and six heads. Please pay attention to this one because when users are trying to select the head replacement, to to swap the heads so users need to select the right head comb set up head map and we select the Toshiba family and then the program will start to set up the head map In the very beginning, and it was very slow to run, but after some time, the speed will be enhanced. So this is one seek. Uh, with four platters hard drive and laptop hard drive and it, it is very common and because the PCB number is G3918A this one is very common to be uh, compatible with the USB PCB G3959A. Nine, nine, so this one is very helpful. Now we can see the speed has been increased for setting up the head map. So from here we can see it's from head 0 to head 5, totally 6 heads. This is knock window.
we can see the percentage has been 100%, but at this time, we still need to wait a little bit until the lock window indicate that the head map setup has been complete. And here we can see the head map tree. So we just need to wait until the message output here in the lock window. This new family MQ03 is a little bit different from other families, so it takes a little longer time. Now we can see the execution completed head concepts and in the head map, and we can see from head 0 to head 5, so totally 6 heads. Now we can uh, start the image, and we can see the arrow. And we can really we can untick this one to get the imaging speed enhanced. Now we can check a little bit now, and the speed has come up uh, to about 110 megabytes per second. Uh, from here, we can check the imaging speed. Right now, this is one also one new feature within the disk image settings. And if users change one disk image setting, and users will get new display of the current uh, disk image speed, and the time takes, and the starting time, and this will. Uh, help users to compare different disk image settings to see which disk image setting is better from the engine speed. Now we can see that the image is running very smoothly. So after the image, we can go to the file extraction icon and switch to the uh, file extraction interface and then users can recover the lost data directly from the target drive. Uh, within the new DFL DDP data recovery software program and users just simply operate directly on the target drive uh, only if the 
sectors have been imaged to its target drive, then all operations on the drives will be on the target drive. So this will maximally protect the source drive. And the new program is now uh, easier and more powerful for data recovery engineers to get more data from the pension drive. Thank you for watching this video.